The President of the United States, Joe Biden, announced his intention to ban Gabon, Niger, Uganda, and the Central African Republic from the African Growth and Opportunity Act trading program. President Biden made this decision on Monday in response to what he considers a serious violation of human rights recognized internationally by Uganda and the Central African Republic. He also cited Gabon and Niger's inability to establish or consistently promote political pluralism and the rule of law. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the African Web channel so you won't miss out on our next video. Also, press the notification bell. President Biden wrote to the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives expressing his dissatisfaction with four African countries. These countries have failed to address U.S. concerns regarding their noncompliance with the eligibility requirements of the African Growth and Opportunity Act, despite the United States' intense engagement with them. As a result of this, these countries will lose their designation as beneficiary sub-Saharan African countries under the African Growth and Opportunity Act on January 1, 2024, which marks the effective date of this decision. President Biden has reiterated his promise to evaluate regularly whether these countries meet the requirements for program eligibility. The African Growth and Opportunity Act was introduced in 2000 to grant duty-free access to the U.S. market for goods from qualifying nations. Although the program is set to expire in September 2025, discussions about whether to extend it and for how long are already underway. It is important to note that in May 2023, the U.S. government announced that it was considering sanctions against Uganda and its removal from the African Growth and Opportunity Act. This announcement came after the country passed a controversial anti-homosexuality law. However, the four countries concerned have not yet reacted to this announcement. This announcement comes just before South Africa is due to host the 20th African Growth and Opportunity Act Forum on Thursday. The removal of these countries from the African Growth and Opportunity Act is expected to negatively impact their economies. This is because the African Growth and Opportunity Act encourages exports, economic expansion, and the creation of jobs among its member nations. According to U.S. government data, the Central African Republic is likely to be the least impacted by the African Growth and Opportunity Act expulsion, as it only recorded $881,000 in U.S. exports in 2022. Uganda exported goods worth $174 million to the U.S. in 2022. Gabon and Niger exported $220 million and $73 million, respectively. Last month, Uganda's President Yoweri Museveni revealed that the passing of the anti-homosexual law in Uganda has led to several American corporations stopping the purchase of textiles from Uganda, which are part of the African Growth and Opportunity Act trade agreement. Additionally, the U.S. government has recently taken action against Niger and Gabon, both of which are governed by juntas, by threatening to exclude them from the African Growth and Opportunity Act. Last week, the U.S. State Department announced that it would suspend most of its foreign aid to Gabon. The aid will only be reinstated if the country's transitional administration implements democratic governance. In August of this year, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken similarly announced the suspension of certain foreign assistance programs benefiting the government of Niger. The African Growth and Opportunity Act has already expelled Burkina Faso, Mali, and Gabon due to military coups in those countries. Currently, there is much speculation as to whether the United States of America will also expel Gabon, Niger, Uganda, and the Central African Republic from their trade program. Is it justifiable for President Joe Biden of the United States to impose sanctions on these four African nations? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, 
hit the subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.